Okay, I went to National Tire and Battery yesterday. Took my Prius there. They told me that the inner and outer tie rod on the left side of the vehicle, when I'm on the left side, is, uh, is frozen. And situation going here. But what I'm going to do is move this as we look, as we work here. Now, let me take this little free hand for a second to show you the boot before I uh, mess with it. There's the boot here. All in good condition. Okay, here's the uh, NTW's uh, pricing. National Tire Battery. The uh, inner and outer tie rod is the pricing $145, $127, and labor is $138. I did for a total of um, $445.87. So if I did it with my labor, you know, just work, consider it working out, exercising, participating in life. Okay, let's start by just prying open the back end of this. Oh, that just moves like a baby. That moves like a baby. Okay, so I'll just spray some lube on it just for the general principle of it. Some, uh, and then let's go ahead and freak it open. Okay, wrench on. It's a cheap socket. I might break it. I don't have a real, 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 real long socket. Okay, so we know that part's not frozen. Oh, whatever. Okay, so since I want to save this, I don't want to mushroom that head. Okay, all I'll do is invert the castle nut. And then I'm going to break my light there. And I'll just uh, bring this down about flush. I'll just knock it down. And there we go. It's broken free. A couple taps. Take this back out. Boot looks beautiful. Still got grease as you saw come out of it. smooth and I'm rotating it. Let me zoom in a little bit. Wow, that feels good inside there too. Well, let me get you. And a little bit of light back there. So I'll grab the shaft on this. I mean, yeah. pushing in and out real nice. No clicking, no grinding. It's right here, what we're looking for. Okay, first off, let's just show that. Let me zoom out a little bit. Shucks. Yeah, that's right. Because it just turns free. That's not a problem. There we go. Let's zoom back in. This guy just turns free hand, free handed. That's just all free. Okay, so here's our boot. I mean, our uh, inner tie rod. And I've got the new part ready to go. Ready to go. So we gotta get that off. 
little shiny clamp in the middle of the image, in the middle of the video. Got to get that off, and we've got to get this one off too. We're going to return. We're going to reuse this boot, and let's see what the part looks like for you. So this is a hundred dollars total, which you're going to be looking at. And where are we going with this? Dun, 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 dun. I'm first bringing over another uh, another floor, floor jack. Okay, what do we have here? Placement clamps. Kind of a quick design. This is the tool I had to get to remove it, or it's it's only 20 bucks as opposed to buying the whole kit for um, 70 bucks. Or um, here's an inner tie rod, outer tie rod. I'm sorry, reverse that. And there we go. All sealed up. Okay, I'm gonna take a little screwdriver. I'm gonna pry that back clamp off. This back clamp right there in the center, as I said. That one come off, will come off to us. Okay, so I've been kind of a work smarter, not harder guy. I'm just gonna grind it. Of course, it's so solid of a metal, the sparks grinding, it's too much like craziness. So, you can see what I have here. Look, how did it get, how can it doesn't go back together? Uh, just use a pipe wrench. If you find one of these, buy them. They're expensive, but if you can find them used, buy them. They are so nice. No sparks, just a few turns. Of course, I got a, a vice too, but um, a few turns and you're done. Those sparks are so annoying sometimes because most of the time, you know, you don't go find your, your uh, safety glasses. You use the uh, squint method of, of eye protection. Squint method, you know, you just squint your eyes like uh, the sparks will respect that and not go into your eyes. I caught myself using the squint method and I stopped immediately and uh, went ahead and, and um, put on, I, I changed over the systems. So, what I did here was the length, let's see, the length, maybe you can see it in there. It's pretty much on the money. If you can see by my palm there, um, I just, when I threaded it, when I did that threading, I changed the adjustment. So this guy will be adjusted back out. Anyway, I've got another tool I use for a marker. So actually, I'll put this by my other marker tool for depth, thread depth. And where is that tool? Um, you can use anything, you know, anything you want to mark that depth. But keep in mind when you put the new one on, it might not be the same, same depth. Um, now, let's see if we can salvage this. Salvage this guy. I don't think so. As you can see, it does not clamp on here. Do not get confused. It doesn't go on there. That would just make it, you know, spin. This would just be spinning around. It just would tear the boot right apart. So, where does it clamp? Oh, boy. So, where does it clamp? Clamps on the, around that casing the wider casing. Of course my other part threads into the center of that and that's got grease around it. I'll go ahead, oops, 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 sorry, sorry. Okay, it's got some grease around it. I've got grease so I'll go ahead and add more grease around that. I'll change my gloves out, put some grease in there just for the general principle of it around that shaft and put the boot back on. The grease, um, Okay, here we go. Let's undo that. Put it back in there, not cross-threading, just letting it thread itself. You know, you can pretty much not cross-thread it when you just take a little effort to thread it in. Okay. Now I'll put that tool back on it, that clamping tool does its adjustment. This time I'm lucky, I get to slide it over. Put it in place, snug it up, and crank it. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Let's see if we can get this shaft in here a little bit, cranked around. Mm. I'll snug it up in a minute. I don't have a torque on it. 
Let's go ahead and crank that one little touch. My little impact torque wrench. I set it like a 40 pounds. There we go. All right, now we gotta get the boot on. So, looking at this clamp, I'm seeing it's salvageable. It really does look like it'll reclamp to me. Um, okay, so what I did was I just put grease to close the hole off, slide it over, no dirt will go down it. Well, it's gonna have grease. I can't say no dirt will go down it. Here we go. See if I can use a screwdriver to get it over that housing. I don't want, yeah. I want to show you the video on that one because that was absolutely beautiful how it slid over. Um, it's on the housing. I'm going to have to zoom in. i got to take off these gloves so I don't mess my camera up. Um, they're full of grease, right? Here we go. Here we go. Come on, camera. Focus in there. Come on. That's the housing. I know it's blurry because the camera can't figure out what to focus on. It's in the foreground. So I'm trying to make trick it out. There we go. Almost had it. There we go. That's the best we're going to get. That's the clamp. And it's in there. So now I need to clamp the clamp. Make sure that clamp stays closed with the uh, ring up top right there. So I'm going to pinch that ring again. I'd rather use their clamp. Their clamp looked better than my uh, retrofit clamp. And, and actually, was that look salvageable? Okay, keep in mind that this, this shaft will not be spinning. So I, I'm happy with that, actually. I think I'm getting greedy at that point. I'm looking at the straps that I have, the retrofit straps, and they're. Uh, Okay, well, I'll pull on that boot a bit. Once I put, no, I won't pull on the boot because once I clamp this, my finger was that showing that? No. Hold on. Okay. So once I clamp this, this boot won't come forward anymore, and it's where it needs to be. So no, I'm not going to do a, take that boot off. I mean, not take that clamp off. I'm going to add the front clamp, which keeps it in place, which keeps the whole thing in place. Right there. Along with the back friction of the other one keeps it in place. I'm just double checking here. Taking it off and putting it on. So there we go. And then of course take it to the store and get alignment. That's it. That's my depth gauge. It's going to get tuned up. It's going to get adjusted anyways. What do I care? I'm going to close them out. Now let's put the, tie right, the outer tie right on. Screw it on. Inner, outer. Outer. I'll go with that little bit of turn. I saw it turn. Oh well. Doesn't matter to me a little half turn like that. These tires are totally whack. They were totally out of uh, alignment. So who's to say that what I just did didn't align it back up? <laughs> we'll go this direction. There we go. 
that's all it. That's it. I'm all in. I'm done. This goes snug that right. I snug that uh up there in the back and take it to the shop. Hundred dollars compared to four something. Okay, I had to uh, re-go over that again. See the, the the wash that goes in here? Had it upside down. Goes that direction. Flare that direction. Um, so I've got to find the torque book and torque this properly. Uh, that just guesstimating. Okay. I guess once again, I gotta put grease around here. This grease that comes with it goes around the boot as per their instructions. Um, here we go. bottom of it up just to see it right there okay good um, I'm gonna use the old the old cast on see the thickness of it compared to what they're giving me it's a huge difference and cranking it even up to 40 it deformed so back to the old one we go it's one piece it's missing one little part of a little castle if you will Capital, whatever they call it. I'll snug this up, then I'll go get the the uh, proper adjustment on it. Okay, all done. Tires on and off to uh, tire alignment. Get a tire alignment. Okay, I still have the car jacked up, and hopefully I shut off in a minute. This is free, so that's just to pump the engine warming up for a second. But the, uh, there's no clicking, it's very smooth motion through the entire range. So, like I said, off we go. Off we go to get an alignment now. Yeah, I had to show you this. This is kind of cool. So, I got it aligned yesterday, the 29th. If you look down, uh, this is left side, front left. You look how. <laughs> how accurate I got it on there by uh, just by me throwing it on there so anybody in the early part of the video is making fun of me just saying when it rotated and I said how does and I said something to the effect of uh, you know how do we know that that didn't just make it more in tuned or look at your actual before and actual you believe that before 3.3 actual they fixed it 3.3 look at all the numbers I put the damn thing 100% in alignment Minus that uh, third row down, look, 0.04, and they put it at 0.06. But nevertheless, if you look to the far right, it was still, um, hmm, 0.10 is the max specific range. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's, well, I'm curious, curious about that one myself. But that is funny as hell, um, that me just slapping on there and it hit the alignment on the nose. That is crazy. Look at the adjustments, no adjustments. Besides the very middle one. That is crazy.